Man, got around. OG7 back here. Hey guys, and um, I got this over on my Patreon, the pimping channel. And I wanted to give you guys um, some insight to some things that are going on. And I apologize for getting back to you guys late. Like the pimping channel has grown. It's almost to a thousand subscribers. I think at a thousand subscribers, I can start getting monetized. I'm going to start having live streams with you guys, whatever they call them. And so we can talk, you know, and interact. But uh, what's going on is uh, I had spent, um, last month, I had spent three days with a phony pickup artist guru. And uh, the reason this is important to you guys is he is, um, he's the godfather of PUA. Like he's the guy who started it all. So the reason this is important because if you um, go to the root of whatever it is you're studying, you find out that it's, it's um, founded by a charlatan, then any of the offsprings or disciples are charlatans as well. So all of you guys who have come to my channel because you want to understand what it, what it means to be a pimp or a PUA or a player, um, you got to go over to my Patreon. I have the, the $5 entry level Patreon. I'm going to just download all of the um, the footage. I have audio footage and video footage. I have to download it there because otherwise he'll sue me. But you go over there, and then, um, what I do is I, um, I download the – I have 12 uh, videos. I download one, then I give you my reaction to it, and then I encourage you to go to my Pimpology tier so that you can have coaching calls with me. Or you can even go over to PayPal and pay to have a coaching call with me if you don't want to be on a Pimpology but the Pimpology 101 is a, it's a college level, university level course. It's broken down into four semesters, I guarantee you. After the first semester due, you'll be well on your way. But anyway, the reason this video is important, I wanted to share with you, dude, what's, what's going on over there. And here's, here's what's going on. Here's why I have the Pimpy channel. I think that there's a lot of men in our country that are bay males. And what I mean by that, dude, is... I don't really believe in alpha and beta. What I do believe is alpha, beta, sigma characteristics. And a lot of you guys are feminized, and it's not your fault because, you know, you, you got your smartphone, dude, and you're on it all the time like a female. I mean, you grew up with these phones, dude. And then you're, you're, you're brainwashed by the distractions of marketing and, and the propaganda and the agenda that they're pushing on men to become women that's why there's a big transgender movement i don't have anything against transgender dude or gay people or women or anything all i'm saying is if you're a man and you're happy with being a man then i want to teach you what it means to really be a man because that has been a lost art and it comes down to unfortunately this is a you know this is not a negative word but i just have to use it it comes down to the domination and subjugation of women dude it's just like i'll give you an example I don't know if you guys like dogs, man, but if you're a dog owner, and let's say you have like a big breed of a dog, like a cane course or a Doberman Pinscher or a German Shepherd or, you know what I mean, a, a, a pit bull, right? Those dogs, if you're familiar with dogs from early on when they're small, you have to dominate them and subjugate them because they are wild animals. Their tendency is to be aggressive and to hurt people for which you would become financially responsible or maybe, maybe even get incarcerated. So to be a true pet owner from early on, it's like they do with the elephant. The elephant, when it's small, they tie a, um, they tie a rope on the elephant, dude, the baby elephant. He pulls and pulls because he wants to go with his mama. He can't get away. So he learns that when he has a rope on there, he can't, can't do anything. He becomes helpless. It's, learned, it's called learned helplessness. So now you got this big, strong, so many tons, thousands of pounds of an elephant that can tear, very easily tear down the house. And they got a chain on the elephant, man, of the post. And the elephant, when he pulls on it, he feels the resistance. In his mind, he remember when he was a small baby elephant, he couldn't do anything. So now he's got learned helplessness, even though he could very easily tear down not just the post, but the whole building. And that's the whole thing you must do with, uh, with women, my friend. In our country, dude, unfortunately, we've got a topsy-turvy where now... The, the, you know, they, they call the equality of feminization. What it is it actually is the domination of men. And you cannot be successful finding happiness in the dating market or interacting with pe people of the opposite sex or even having a fulfilling intimacy relationship if you're in a subordinate position. Doesn't Women don't respect that. doesn't matter what they say. I'm here to tell you. 
So what's going to happen over at the Pimbology, the reason that you're here at the Pimping Channel, is to go from... An effeminized beta male bitch boy. Oh, shoot. I cussed on YouTube. Fuck. To, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it, I got, I got to call this. I got to call this the, um, this is what I call it, man. I call it this, bro. Give me a second. I like this one. Let's call this the black pill. To go from here, you see how it's pink? You're not even a blue pillar. You're a pink, wimpy, effeminized little bench warmer boy, a soy boy. To go from here to here, dude, there's a process. There's no way to go from being an effeminized tampon boy to a black pill, just savage. So there's a progression, dude. Let's just go through the color spectrum. And I'm just going to make this up, man. But first, you're going to have to go to become blue pill. And then you're going to have to... Um, I don't know. We're going to use, say this is red. Oh, no, that's pink. But you, you get my point. So the, her, over here at the Pimping Channel, even though I talk to you guys about pimping, some of the concepts are too advanced, and you, you're not going to fathom it because of your paradigm. But you can go through the process from being a, a, a beta male bench warmer soy boy to a red pill dude. To a player or a PUA, a pick of bars, then you can evolve into a master Mac and a pimp. So I wanted to share something with you guys because over at the channel, over the Patreon, I'm telling the guys that in order to become a in order to become a pickup artist, dude, first you must understand what a pickup artist is. And this is a free giveaway for you guys, but um, other than that, man, I think uh, on my pimping channel, dude, I'm kind of uh I'm kind of torn about shutting it down because, first of all, pimping is an illegal undertaking. And if you don't have the emotional maturity to understand, you're proceeding at your own risk. I don't want to be responsible for you guys ending up in the prison. Then you'll be over at my prison channel, right? But then number two, dude, a lot of you guys don't have emotional maturity to understand. You got to invest in yourself, dude, and it's not an overnight. There's no get rich quick. There is no magic formula is going to turn you into a pimp overnight, dude. It's a process. They say it takes 10 years of mastery. Am I saying it's going to take you 10 years? Nope, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there is no reward without work. You're going to have to put in some work. Like me, I'm going to show you what the work is. I'm going to show you what the work you have to do. But you, my friend, have to put the work in it. If you're not serious enough to put in the work, then it's a moot point. So how do I determine if you're serious enough to put in the work? How I determine is if you go over to my Patreon just for $5, the entry-level Patreon, you absorb the knowledge that I'm sharing with you, apply it, and then if you have some issues we can troubleshoot, you can go up to my Pimpology tier, then we can have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls because now we can have a conversation of men who master women. But without making this video, hey, man, what happened to that one book I had? Oh, man. Where'd that book go? What the heck? I'm so busy talking, man. I didn't, uh, dang. Well, anyway, here's some books I want to recommend to you guys, man. For, uh, you know, getting you to understand what a pickup artist is. So, number one, the first book I recommend is called, fuck. Hold on, man. Give me a second. The first book I recommend is called The Rules. Now you get any of these books in PDF form because they've been out for a while. But what this book is going to do is going to let you know how women view men and the game that they play, dude, to trap you into marriage, relationships, long-term relationships, friend zone where you're paying money, you're not getting anything out of it. Here's the opposite of a friend zone. Here's the polar opposite. A friend's what benefits for the lady. She gets nothing out of it because, see, women use sex in order to have a relationship. And men get in a relationship in order to have sex. Now, if that's messing your head up, dude, you got to slow down and, and, and listen to it, man. Rewind it because I'm not going to say it again. So women have the power to give you the sex, but you have the power 
to make her into a girlfriend or long-term relationship. And never give up your power. So when you're in a friend zone, you're giving her a relationship and you're not even getting any sex. And in friends with benefits, the lady's getting blown out, but she's not having a relationship. This book right here teaches women how to trap you, man, and make you a servant. That's why it's a read it. I'm saying that's book number one. Let me see the next book I recommend to you guys, man. Let me put this down here before it falls. The Guide to Picking Up Girls. Hey, man, you know, when I got into the PUA thing, dude, and I spent 10 years as a pickup artist, dude, I, I, had, I lived in Lairs, bro. I lived in Project um, Hollywood, Project Salinas. Um, I hung out with some top PUAs. I paid for boot camps, dude. I, I, I purchased over tens of thousands of books, bro. But some of the books really jump out at you, man. This one here, The Guide to Picking Up Girls, it's a very easy read. And it really, like, gives you an understanding of how you have to be social. You can't pick up women like they're teaching on these dating sites, bro, and from the comfort of your home, bro. And first of all, you got to look the part, dude. You got to really get a fashion makeover, get a haircut that befits you, man. Clean up your eyebrows and your nose hair and your ear hair, you know, if you got facial hair, trim it up, floss your teeth, brush them, and start to work out and eat food. I'm not saying you got to be a gym rat, bro. At least work out, man, at least five days a week for an hour, bro. Mostly cardio, flexibility, maybe a little bit of weight training or some body weight exercises, and throw in a little sprinkling of some punching and kicks. And just start to eat more vegetables, man, with your meals and, and less sugary drinks and more water. That's an easy start. It's easy to do. Very doable. It's very simple. And then, dude, you're going to start to feel better about yourself because of your food choices and your exercise. And then when you're dressing nice, you'll see that you feel like going out, being social. But if you're unkempt, dude, and just slovenly, come on, man. Here's another one, dude, that I recommend. It's called The System, dude. And this is by Roy Valentine. And this is a really good, easy read as well, bro. You know, you know, you don't have to overcomplicate things. And here's what I share with you guys, dude. You get these books, no more than five. I recommend at least three, no more than five. And you do 20%, 80%. So 20% you read, and I recommend you read for two hours a day. And some of these books you'll be able to read in one day. Then 80%, you go out. And just interface with women. Be social. I'm going to tell you the quickest ways to be social. And it's very easy. There's no pressure. There's a thing called TGIF in every city. It's thank God it's Friday. Only on Fridays they have like appetizers, nuts, drinks. Um, and, you you know, you can just sit there and be social. Everybody's there. Singles go there. People by themselves. It's just something to do after work and wine. You know, that's, so that's your Friday activity. Number two is to start to frequent like sports bars. And I'm not really into sports, I'll be honest with you, but it's football season. Just Google in your area sports bars, dude, and see if they have specials on the on game days, dude, which is normally like Sundays and Mondays. And just go in there. You're going to see women there. You're going to see men there. Just get social. And the whole thing is you're not there to pick up women. You're just there to be social because part of picking up women, you have to have verbal acumen. You have to be able to hold a conversation. And we're not going to get into sexual overtones, none of that. Just to be social. And if you're smelling good and you're dressed nice, some women will seduce themselves. Dude, I meet women all the time. They seduce themselves, but they're not what I'm looking for. I have a specific, I have a specific type of a woman that I look to interface with. And though a lot of women may be lovely, they, they don't really have what I'm looking for. And so it's a waste of my time. I'm not here to be doing, have sports sex with women, dude. I'm not here for that. I'm, if I never have sex again in my life, I'm cool because now I'm looking for quality, not quantity. And here's the here's the last one to recommend. It's called The Natural by Richard LaLuna. This is a very good read. This dude breaks it down. So that's number three. Let me put these back in order here. Give me a second. Okay, give me a second, bro. 
Give me a quick second here because uh, I went through my entire library for you guys, man, to uh, to find some uh, books. This is the one I was looking for. This is number four. Don't be afraid to ask. How to date a beautiful woman. And all it comes down to, all of these books, dude, is very simple, man. It just comes down to being social. You guys too put too much pressure on yourself. Like, you know, oh, man, I got to get her number. Oh, man, I got to sleep with her. No, man, just look at it like, hey, I want to have an interesting conversation with a person that thinks she's interesting. Let me find out. Be inquisitive. And here's the last one, but not least, number four. How to Pull Women. This is by Ed West, The Science of Seduction. He goes into, you know, how to dress and how to smell and how to act and your personality, dude. And It's pretty cool, man. So anyway, I don't want to go too far in this video here, but uh, I wanted to share it with you. So um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm at a crossroads on the pimping channel, dude, because even though these subscribers have grown, um, I get a lot of... Uh, kick back from dudes that don't even know the first thing about pimping or about women and they want to challenge me dude and i'm like dude come on i don't know you came to my channel bro and so i want to separate the people who are serious from the people that's just trolling if you're serious go over to my patreon pay the five dollars i'm going to have a lot of stuff on there about pickup artistry stuff straight from the uh three-day seminar i went spent eight hours or well, actually 12 hours with this pickup artist guru me and 60 other guys it was a seminar I took secret audio and video, and I'm going to commentate on it so you won't waste your money. But like number two, like I said, to go from being a beta male bench warmer soy boy to a pimp, you got to become a player first. You got to become a bad boy first. You got to become an alpha. You're not just going to come overnight. And that's the trajectory is over at my Patreon. Here at the Pimping Channel, um, I really appreciate you almost 1,000 subscribers. And you guys are stuck around. Um, I think I'm gonna still I'm gonna be giving some tidbits on how to be a pickup artist because I think the pimping concepts are too advanced. Let me know in the comments what you think, and let me just ponder it for a minute. But until next time, OG Silverback out.